Hey guys, Superkin here, back with another video, and in today's video, since YouTube is about to die pretty soon, and like almost ex exactly a month from now, um, I need to make more reaction videos, especially to SMR Stories Thug Life, because personally, I think it's a better series than Path of the Psycho. Path of the Psycho is good, but Thug Life is a lot better, and good news guys, good news. This episode, the second episode, is 10 minutes shorter than the first one. And yes, I uh, I know, it's been quite a while since it came out. I think it's been like a week and a half or something. I probably won't post this by the time. It's like two weeks into it being uploaded on YouTube. But I don't really mind because the third episode won't be coming out until the middle of December. So yeah, pretty crazy. I'll try to make this video as short as possible. Maybe I'll try to make it at hopefully around 25 minutes. I'm not going to be able to finish it all today because since I'm going to be getting my hair cut in a little bit. Because look at how long my hair is. It is so long. And look how long this part is. It's, it's getting pretty long. It's been like a month and a half since I got my hair cut. And I need to get my hair cut before my hair goes all crazy. Anyways, guys, I'm going to search up the video and yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, guys, so this video is pretty popular too. It has 7,000 views. And see, I told you it was made a while back. It was made on November 23rd, 2019. And oh my god, look at Fat Willie in there. <laughs> oh my god. That's a lovely picture to see. But anyways, guys, since I don't want to make this video too long, let's get started with it right now. Hey, Antonio! Ah, Jake B boy, how goes it? Yeah, no, That's no, no. a lovely way to it's start a video. Cool. Uh, I see. Yeah. Man, the last couple days have been crazy. Oh, I feel you, Jake. You know, so I think crazy down there. But, um, uh, speaking about your pickup, did you use up all the weed from me? Uh, that's <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, we used up all the weed the day before graduation. Yeah, we just got. You smoke weed. Oh, okay. So instead of smoking actual cigarettes at 18, you smoke weed. Weed, I don't even know if it's legal in Canada, so. It seems like it's not. So you're a pretty um not tough gangster. Sorry. A fine son, you know, a fun time and then we just kinda just went from there. <laughs> yeah, I feel you man. I remember back in my day I just used to get off fun all the time, but graduation, you finally had the high school. Man, how does that feel? I honestly don't fucking know. I honestly just wanna get high and forget the fact that I'm technically an adult and I have responsibilities, so yeah. Uh, I feel you. Adulthood's a bitch. Especially taxes, but... Okay, Jakey boy, I got your weed. And especially rent. Rent? Oh my god. Rent in California is so high. All these college kids, they can't even afford apartments because the rent is so high. No joke. Weird. You know usual. And, uh... Actually, Antonio, I... I got a pretty big score recently and, uh, from an ATM heist that we tried. And, uh... I think I'm gonna pick up some cocaine after. Cocaine? Really? Oh God, man. Really? Man, You're gonna that be that dumb? Um, congratulations, man. Just have this instead, not man. cocaine. Ten G's. Man, GG, my guy. You're really getting up there with them. Just uh, gotta keep doing this. You know, you gotta be careful for you know, the gators. <laughs> okay, Antonio, let me tell you something about the gators. Literally, I was. I had a beating. And then I just noticed. That with the sunglasses, they like reflect the other side of the camera, like the side that you can't see. And you can literally see Super Mario Richie holding up his camera. It's really funny, actually. Thing, you see the height, and they all came up to me and they're like, oh, you can't take Xavier's opportunities. And I just beat the shit out of them with the stick comes up. <laughs> ah, I have nothing to worry about, honestly. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's cool. Without a magic. Okay, I got the stuff. So that would be a uh, 500. Okay, 500, here you go. Haha, <laughs> gracias, me boy. Have a blast. Oh, thanks, man. That looks so real. It's probably either uh, salt or, I don't know, sugar. Alright, take care, Antonio. Guys, I see him, guys, I see him. Oh my god, I can't believe Xavier sent us out to get this guy either way. I mean, I thought he was gonna get someone else. <sighs> Whatever. Either way, we're gonna have to pull this guy to get him like Xavier said. Come on, let's hurry up before it gets away. 
All right, he's right there. Get him, guys. Oh my, wow. The glasses, you can't leave the glasses there. <laughs> we got you just where we want you. All right, let's fucking get him. God damn it, you can't, you can't let the glasses stay there. You have to get them. You don't fool. This is what you get for messing with the game. <laughs> wow, she must be a stripper. Whoa! Okay, um, yeah, just pretend you didn't see that. You guys better fuck up and stop causing all this bullshit. Or I'll come back and finish you all. Yeah. Okay, come on, guys, let's go. Shit. I mean, I, I had everything under control. You didn't have to really help me. I don't want to. Yeah, but... Uh, thanks, but you know, I, I could have handled those punks, you know. <laughs> I believe you. You were doing a very great job handling them. Uh, yeah, fuck yeah. It was a part of my big diabolical plan. I was going to trick them to thinking they were winning. But then actually, I was going to fucking beat them up. And the name's Carly. What's yours? Um, the name's Jake, and... Thank you. Thank you for helping me. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go now because I have cocaine. And I want to do it with my friend. See, you can clearly see Super Mario Richie in the background recording. He, he like, has his head down. He's holding the camera. He's looking at the camera. He's holding the doll, according to Jordan. And, yeah, he's having a great time recording in the park. Swearing as much as possible. Friends in my basement, so, yeah, see you around. Okay, whoa, 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 hold up. Are you... Hold up. Are you in a game? Why the hell would that matter to you? Oh, well, it seems like you're in one. You know, you look like you're in one. I kind of feel like a... And you said you're going to go do coke with your friends in the basement. They must be in your gang, too. How about you stay the fuck out of my... Whoa, basement? don't Have say that, Will, to that on. girl. You're the leader, right? You, you seem like the leader. Come on. You gotta let me in. I would really benefit your gang. I mean, come on. I just took all those guys out for you. Why the fuck do you want to be my gang so bad? It doesn't fucking matter. I just met you. I don't trust you. Why do you want to be in my gang anyway? I'm looking for work, you know, to be in a gang, and then I can totally help you out. I just took all those guys out for you. I can go on, on maybe, maybe heist and stuff. Maybe, like, we can do gang stuff. Heist. What a lovely word. Uh, heist. It should be hist. Actually, I don't know which one is better. Heist or hist. I, I think hist is better. Hey, oh, hey, man. Let's do the hist together. Leave me alone. Stay out of my business. Oh, that's a shame. It's a real damn shame. Now you're kind of cute. You're not, actually. <sighs> you know what? No, fine, fine. You can be a part of the game. You can do a couple heists, but don't fuck anything up. You hear me? Don't take anything. Don't steal anything. Don't fuck anything up, okay? Got it? You could just say yeah, mess got it, got it. things up, not, you know. <laughs> Sweet. So, you said you needed work or something? Yeah, I've just I've been all over, man. Like, I've been in gangs here and there, and it's just. I'm really not in one, and I'm just looking for work, you know? Quick question. What? Well. Gangs, they have stupid woke. Why do you want to be in a gang? You could just have a regular... You could have a job in McDonald's. That's better than being in a gang. You could have a job in Walmart. Even that's better than being in a gang. I get mad at The most job is too quiet. I just do not work my stepmom or anything. Your stepmom? You don't want to fucking beat me. <laughs> okay, Peter Petiti. Oh, I swear to the love of God, if I get caught again, I will literally kill myself. Right here. Wow, that's pretty deep. You must love your stepmom. Oh, <laughs> Jake, in here. Family therapy today. Good job. Good job, woman. And that's exactly why we're doing this. Your girlfriend can wait outside. Okay, hold up. She's not my fucking girlfriend, okay? God. Oh, can you just wait out here for a sec? <laughs> sure thing, mama's boy. Aw, uh, language cheap. And I'm gonna need you to take off your sunglasses this time so I know you're actually making eye contact. Oh, come on. I don't even see why this is- Well, he does have a point there. Hey, could you show Dr. Helson the once and Oh, Jake, with the therapist. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, now that we're ready to talk, I just want to ask, like, Jake, what happened? Like, last session went great, but now you went back to doing drugs with your friends, staying out late, disrespecting your mother and everyone around you. I'm just like, what's up with you, man? For the love of God, I don't know how many times I'm about to say this, but 
I am 18 years old. I have graduated high school. I am entitled to do whatever the fuck I want. And I don't understand why is everyone getting up on me to do all this shit. Jake, lower your voice. No, shut the fuck up. I'm not going to lower my voice. This is bullshit. I can do whatever the hell I want. I'm 18 years old, and I don't have to listen to her because she's not my real mom. Jake, please. Well, Jake, that doesn't change the fact. Wow, Jake, you're making your stepmom cry. What a, what a loser. What a body loser. We're trying to help you. We're trying to be there. But I'm fine. 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 I'm f
Okay, You're probably just saying that because she told you to say that. Other than just us having it That's what I believe. Uh, brother, okay, Ned, just listen, just hear me. Brother? Uh, on the way home from getting the cocaine, you know, just now, I got jumped by the three assholes from yesterday, you know, the, those gators. Yeah, the people. stupid... Man, they were just three-way the, meters just being the oh, shit. Oh, I almost said to call the stupid just gators. Just, just saved me. She just beat the shit out of them, and I'm like, oh, shit, like... I was kind of skeptical at first, but she really has potential. She could really help us out with these heights. Yeah, she seems like she's a strong girl. All right, I see where it coming. A strong ass girl. I thought you were kind of just like Travis, where you're just like you know looking at her big titties, like oh we need her in here, right? So okay, tell you what, I see your point of view. I'll think about it honestly. Getting her in here at first was kind of a wonky start with you know. Tony and her, so I don't, I say we don't make this permanent, I say we just use her for a couple heists and then get her the fuck out of here, get me? I kind of, I, I kind of agree with him because with her and Tony, like, it might not end very well. You know, we don't even even know that much about her, so maybe she could get threatened later on, but I don't know, let's just use her for a little bit and get her the fuck out of here, okay? Don't mention this to Tony, let's just get into the heist. The heist. Sure thing, Ned. Alright, yeah! Heist time, boys. The hey, hiss. Oh, you got the stuff I started up today. I think it's gonna be freaking legendary. All right, you're the man, Ned. Just for listen. Psst. You're ready. You're in the game. Oh, sweet. Do I have to some, sign some kind of contract or something? Nah, no, nah. No, just. Why does a plushie have big boobs? Like, I'm really curious, actually. Yes, I know. This will probably get restricted, but whatever. All right, guys. Take a look at Operation Jewelry. Now, I have to make some modifications due to Carly's. Assistance, but that's always okay. More the merrier. All right, Ned, give us the scoop. What's the plan? All right, well, to start off, I'm going to be dropping Jake, Tony, and Carly at the front of the mall, and they're going to be going into the mall to get the jewelry. As for me, I'm going to drive to the back of the mall, so we'll wait to pick you guys up there. And we're not going to be using our own car. We're going to have to get a stolen vehicle for that, because if we use, like, a friend's car, then uh, it's just going to get all ugly. The police officers are going to know it's a stolen car. And they're gonna trace it back license plate wise, and it just gets ugly. Ah, uh, don't worry, Travis. I don't forget about you. You have the most important job. Just give me a second, let me finish. Oh man, that's a relief. I thought you we were just gonna pull that racist shit on me and just just include me because I'm black, man. And I was just like sitting here going like, man. Black Yoshi from SML would totally say something like that. And Sabre Morton too from the main Super Mario Richie channel. Is this guy really gonna do that? And then I'm like, nah, I wouldn't. But then I'm like, oh, he's saying that. I'm just gonna let you keep going on. Fuck me. Okay then. But anyways, guys. So once you guys take the jewelry and get out successfully from the emergency exit, I'll pick you up from the back and we'll drive off. Sound good? Sounds pretty straightforward. All right, cool. And we're definitely going to need some burglar masks so we can hide our identification because, you know, like, people know who we are. Now. Yeah, jail I can car. understand that. Anyways, moving on to step three. Once we're on the car, then you come into play, Travis. Shit, there's no more cars in here. But, but what's up? You have the most important job, Travis. Once we make it to the location I send you, we're all going to go here and drop off the vehicle that we stole. You are gonna destroy it with the bomb that I'm going to create. The, the bomb? Is, oh my god, really? The car, then. You're then so you're dumb. Screwed. Wait, man, so you're saying we're gonna pull up a car in the big location you send me? I mean, like, what the hell? That's gonna be even worse for us. Well, actually, Travis, the location we're gonna go to to destroy the car is in a forest. If we pull this car in the forest, we might potentially start a forest fire, which will distract everybody from us. Over to the forest fire to stop the forest fire. Okay, I get that, but why would you create a forest fire? You're fucking smart, bro. We already have too many nowadays. <laughs> no, Travis. We're going places. But anyways, moving on to the forest plan. You forgot the floor, bro. I, I know, whatever. But the point is, we blow up the car, and we all scatter separately, okay? Because if we all move together, if one of us gets caught, you know, we might not have, you know, have a better chance of us getting away, right? So if we all split up, then there's a better chance of us not getting caught. Sounds good? Whoa, that sounds great. Nice plan, dude. Thanks. Uh, anyways, guys, overall, we're gonna need some burglar masks, a uh, bag which we can keep all the jewelry in. We can probably just use the, you know, the fucking last bag we used for the last heist. We can also, uh, we're gonna need some weapons, and I'm gonna need to create a bomb, which I will work on. Meaning that you'll be a terrorist. Yeah, me and Jake can steal a car, right? Yeah, yeah, sure, Tony. We've never fucking stolen a car in our entire lives, but sure, let's give it a try. Yeah, let's go. Sweet. I'll start working on the bomb, and just pointing out that we're going to do this heist tomorrow, and it's going to be late when the mall closes around that time, so we can quickly just get in and get out without too many people getting in our way, too much security and all that stuff, and then have, people have lower expectations and stuff, so let's do this. Fort Dakota. Yeah, Fort Dakota, fam. Here, I'm going to get some burglar masks that we used a couple Halloween ago. Here, I'll get the weapons. I have a guy that can hook me up. Oh, man, robbing a jewelry store. This is going to be hella risky, but hella fun, too. And, uh... 
Yeah, where the heck do you even start? And is that a is that a Christmas present or something? Like, oh my god, that looks kind of crazy. That's my best bet. Great. All right, so where the hell are we gonna find a card? <coughs> oh, whoa! Sorry about that. Whoa, guys, don't. Oh my god, they're just literally like freaking like arguing like right when they start the the hiss. I really like seeing that one. Stupid subway sofa notification. God damn it! Stupid subway. Suddenly square across the face. Now how the fuck am I supposed to trust her, bro? How? Bro, you assume she was a fucking stripper. Of course she's gonna slap you. Look, I don't. Yeah, I I understand that. If you're asking me my opinion, I don't fucking like her. Okay, bro, I get it. You don't fucking like her. I understand. I don't give a shit, dude. But you have to understand, she's an asset to Dakota. And yeah, and she could probably make it like a lot better. Fuck Dakota, Jake. You're, you're ignoring the entire reason we started this fucking gang, okay? Wow. Do you remember why? Yes, of course. How could I forget the fucking entire reason we started this gang in the first place, Tony? How the hell could I forget? But I'll tell you right now, she's a fucking uh, of the gang. Really thank, thank God he said hell instead of the F word. Like it or not. Yeah, fuck you. You know what's your problem, Jake? I know exactly what's your problem. Your ass is going soft. You're going fucking soft, Jake. Shut the fuck up, Tony. I'm not going soft. I think why, why Tony's go going a little yeah, bit too hard. It's like, oh, oh, we gotta put her to Dakota. You have no fucking reason to add her. No fucking reason. And I gotta go soft, and Dakota's gonna fucking fall apart because you're a dumbass. You know what, Tony? The only fucking reason Dakota would ever fall apart at this point is because of your dumbass. Whoa, I think they're gonna get in a fight or something. Like, calm down. Like, like calm the, the frick, frick down. So I suggest, on the sake of Dakota, you shut the fuck up, and we go find a car! Okay. Yeah, way to go, Jake. Way to go. I think I see one right there. Come on. He is not going too soft. Well, there he wasn't. He's back on track. There's the asshole from fucking high school that would keep his car from that. Oh, 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 yeah. How could I forget about this faggot? Here. I have an idea. I'll do the talking, you do the sneaking in. Alright, that's a bet. Why is he just staring at his car? It's like Mario and SML. Like he just stares at the TV. Like he doesn't even watch TV. He just sits on the couch and stares at the TV. My car again. I just got this shit fixed. I swear to God, if you try one more goddamn time, I'm gonna give you a fucking fist in the face. Whoa, ho, ho, dude, you can stop with the whole gay death threats. I'm gonna put my fist in your ass and stuff. How's that gay? I'm say sorry. I mean, like the car looks great. Oh, thanks, man. I mean. Driving yeah, the car. Oh, it's either wait, wait, wait. I'm really confused. I don't know if either Super Mario Richie's driving the car or if his mom or dad. Like I don't know who's driving the car. Like I don't know. See, like with these plush videos, it's like so confusing. You don't know who's driving the car, and it just really wonders me God. so much. <laughs> you know what, man? I see me crash this thing a couple times. Maybe once or twice, or. Maybe just fucking ram it down the river. <laughs> oh yeah, Tony. Sounds like a goddamn plan. Okay guys, so yes, I know there was like a minute to a minute and a half left of the episode. But just like in the episode one, I'm gonna cut short because the last minute... I mean, it's not boring, but there's not much action. It's just basically Ned making the bomb and then the girl, Carly or whatever her name is... She gets the guns, she brings the guns in, and then they start talking, and then Ned starts liking her more, like, as a friend or something like that. But anyways, guys, I got a haircut a couple days ago, um, first haircut I've had in, like, a month and a half, and look at how short my hair is. Well, I wanted to keep this part longer, but my mom insisted that I get it trimmed 
a little bit shorter since my hair was going all crazy. But anyways, guys, um, I don't want to make the video too long, so I'm going to end it here. Personally, I thought that was really good. Um, I think I like this episode better than the first one, but both of them are still really good, though. But anyways, I'm going to be going now, so don't forget to subscribe to me, like this video, put down a nice comment down in the comments below, and turn on notifications before all that ends in not even a month. Like, literally in three weeks, all that will end. But anyways, see you later.